Thanks for joining us on Tandem Radio for a very special segment by design, focused on helping you understand how God designed you so that you may be healthy and productive in fulfilling God's purposes in your life for many years to come. Now let's join our host, health expert and public speaker, Dr. James Prudian. Welcome to the Biodesign Radio Program. My name is Dr. James Prudian of Prudian Healthcare and PrudianHealthcare.com, where health literacy is the key to longevity, and as long as God has us on this side of eternity, my show is designed to educate you and your families to feel better, function better, and live as many quality disease-free years as possible. I um, want to start off this week's show by doing a little bit of house cleaning. Uh, I think we've done about nine programs so far. So, and I dish, when you, um, if you go to tandemradio.com and you look for the by design tab, uh, next to that will come out another tab called archived shows. Next to every show, there'll be either one or two words. One will be topic, the other is foundation. The foundational shows are going to be more than two or three, maybe sometimes even four weeks long. When I designed this program, um, I wrote down the foundational subject matter, and they are detoxification, epigenetics, immune, inflammation, digestion, structure and posture, stress, and energy. So you know, I, I think there's eight or nine things there that over the next half a year, I'm going to be laying out the foundation. So far, if you go through the first nine shows, you'll see I've done detoxification and epigenetics. This week, we're going to start stress. This will be the first of, mm, I'm guessing, two, three, or four parts on stress, stress management, what that means. And so I wanted to make sure that if you went to the archive shows, because I understand that not everyone is around the time when my show is broadcast live on Tandem, please go to the archive shows and you can see them there. Um, Prudy and Healthcare was set up as a three-dimensional company. The company, or the portal of Prudy and Healthcare, is to supply Teach Me, Treat Me, and Supply Me. The Teach Me component is Wellness at Work, and it's also the By Design radio program. Uh, the, teach, the Treat Me is Natural Healthcare Center, and the Supply Me is Put Back What You Lack. And you could read about that online if you'd like. I get some questions about that from time to time, so I wanted to respond to some emails that I've gotten. And at the end of each show, I do, uh, sometimes I, I'll request, I'll do it now, that if you have a question for me, please go to prudianhealthcare.com. You could uh, submit a question, and I'll get to that at some point in some upcoming shows. So like I said, this is some house cleaning. Uh, last week, we introduced the topic of stress uh, following Hurricane Sandy. And uh, I did get some feedback that some of you found it useful. Uh, that was my prayer. And the fact that um, we use Luke 137 for with God, nothing is impossible as the framework of this show. And uh, I think Hurricane Sandy revealed and continues to reveal a lot to us uh, as it relates to how we respond to stress. So we, we cannot prevent stress. It's actually something that is good for us in a lot of ways. And it's how we control our response will determine many times if we get sick or not. So it, it, stress and its, its physiological consequences many times will be controlled to our, by our reaction. And that's the subject matter that, as a foundational show, we're, we're really going to go and, and take apart. So oh, this is a very, very in-depth uh, study. Um, when you look at the very framework of, of what this word stress is, you know, so many times we hear colleagues, friends, you know, telling us that they're stressed out. They're stressed out because, you know, the baby was up last night or they had it stand too long, you know, at the line at the bank and, you know, and they're stressed out. And, you know, looking at the word stress and going to the CDC, let's take a look at, like, how our physiology, our God-given physiology, the way our body and our systems are designed to process stress, let's take a look at some real startling uh, statistics. The death of a spouse doubles the likelihood that the other spouse will die within one year. Now, these are statistics that are really meant to hit you between the eyeballs. I mean, just when we try to process the death of a spouse and how, you know, uniquely bonded we are to our spouse through God and how the loss of a spouse can cause actual mortality, the death of the other spouse. The next statistic, when one spouse has hypertension, asthma, depression, or an ulcer, the other spouse's risk 
goes up 50% to get that same condition. That's the uniqueness of living together, to be married to one another, and how our health many times is related to your partner's health. The number one risk, or the number one stress known to a human being, a woman's risk of dying goes up 400% in three years after the loss of a child. Now, we could all understand how psychologically being depressed or stressed has this burden, this weight. It lays on our shoulders. It feels like, you know, 800 pounds. And so many people are walking around day to day with this physical baggage, this physical stress just strapped to their back. And what it's doing to their physiological systems from their hormonal system, their endocrine system, their physical, meaning their neuromusculoskeletal system, their immune function, the way they digest food, for instance, and their toxification because of this stress load is causing them not to feel well, not to function well, and not to live quality years. The way I get women's attention in this when I speak on this subject matter, which I've spoken on stress management for you know, 20 years now in corporate America, is that, you know, if we think about a woman many times 45 to 55 years old, I ask them, you know, isn't it interesting that when you go through menopause, here is this new physiological change in a woman's life. Isn't it interesting, why is it that we gain, many women gain 30, 40, 50 pounds plus in the rump, in, in the midsection, and in the thighs. Like all of a sudden, we wake up, they wake up one day and they've got this extra 30 or 50 pounds strapped around their midsection like a tire. It's not because they were laying on the couch hitting gallons of ice cream. It's because physiologically, their body has undergone a change. It's a stress reaction. So stress and the components of stress are very in-depth and they're tied to the triad that I talk about every week. Physical, there's physical stress. Nutritional, there's absolutely nutritional stress. And there is this psychological stress, this burden that's strapped to so many of us. And let's start by, once again, what is the definition of health? It's the complete state of physical, mental, emotional, social, and spiritual well-being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. So here we've got the definition of health and this stress component, our body's reaction to stress. So let's get, let's get visual here. There's, there's two doors in a room, and when I lecture to people, let's say they got 50 to 100, I, I tell them this story. I say, make believe a lion walks in one of the doors. Am I going to go to the other door and open up the door and say, thank you folks for coming today. Let me escort each one of you through this door, shaking your hand, giving you a brochure. No. There's a lion in the room. I'm going to sprint through the sheetrock, breaking every bone in my face and my body to get away from the lion. And I'm going to run down the street to escape this danger that has just walked into the room. That's called fight or flight. And this show is about stress, and we're starting part one here, so that you understand that you have this natural God-given ability to have fight or flight. Many of us have experienced this. Something tragic all of a sudden happens. I remember years ago, something fell on my, my daughter, and we had to rush her to the hospital. And it was this a massive amount of hormonal energy surge because my daughter was injured. And when, after that, I calmed down from that fight or flight episode. I slept for 16 straight hours because my body naturally needed a place to go and to rest. And many of us, oh, I'm speaking to you right now, you probably had that same reaction. That's called fight or flight. So I'm going to ask you a question this week. Do you think that you should be using the energy that God designed us? By design, we have this natural response to fight or flight. I'm about to get into a fight or a lion just walks into the room. Do you think that we should be using that pathway for daily energy? The answer is no. We should not be using the fight or flight pathway for daily energy. We have other pathways in our body to produce energy. Fight or flight is reserved, it is reserved for moments when a lion walks in the room. The stories of the women lifting the cars off the children when there's a fire and they have that unheard of strength, that power of adrenaline, the way adrenaline is secreted by our adrenal glands and this fight or flight reaction kicks in 
is reserved for moments like that. It is not supposed to be used to get up, get in our cars, drive to work, be on the phone, type emails. That type of energy that many people in our society, they're using the fight or flight reaction when they shouldn't. So this show is to open up your brain, it's to open up our minds to education. Fight or flight versus daily energy supply. Because when we tap into fight or flight, we're using resources that make us tired. They make us tired, they make us stressed out, and they interfere with brain chemistry the way we normally should be thinking. So here's this triad. We're wrapped into this massive cost in our country on just depression. Depression ranks among the top three workplace problems. It costs us $148 billion a year, right? Lost productivity, lost earnings, all the societal costs associated with depression. And when, you, when we think about fight or flight, we think about depression tied into this stress and anxiety um, module. It's all tied together. It's a web. It's not one thing or the other. By 2020, for instance, the World Health Organization estimates that depression will be the number two cause of lost years of healthy life worldwide. So here's stress, anxiety, and depression, fight or flight. Got it? Okay, good. Because that's going to be our page holder until we get together next week. I want to introduce the very thing that we're designed to do, which is fight or flight, but it should not be used for daily energy, and we're battling daily in our country, epidemics of anxiety, stress, and depression. Was that God's design or is that man's design? All right, so as we take the subject matter apart, that's the foundation for show one. You've been listening to the By Design Radio Program. Thank you for joining me, Dr. Prudian, for this episode. If you'd like more information on me and Prudian Healthcare, please go to prudianhealthcare.com and you can submit any questions. Keep your questions brief and this upcoming week, I want you to do something. I want you to focus on a behavior to bring down your stress load, whether that's better sleep, better relationship time, or being, spending more time with God. Be well and God bless you. You've been listening to By Design with Dr. James Prudian of Prudian Healthcare. To learn more, visit us at tandemradio.com. That's tandemradio.com or on Facebook. And don't forget to email us with your questions. We'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, hope you have a healthy week and we look forward to you joining us next time for more fantastic insights from Dr. James Prudian on By Design, a special production of Tandem Radio.